Hello, I'm here today with Maya Anna and Maya Anna has just finished my Transformational Tarot six week coaching program with me and she's very kindly offered to come and share her experience of what that was like for her and so now it's lovely to have you here. I'd love you to introduce yourself a little bit first before we get going. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Um, yes, I'm Maya Anna and my website is soulawakening.co.uk. Um, I work mainly with women, helping them to find the life that they love. They often come to me when things are either falling apart or they're making some sort of change or transition, often forced upon them. Um, and I use energy work. I read the Akashic Records. Uh, I do Journey Method and Angelic Reiki. Brilliant. And I've done some work with you and it's just been amazing. So mm, thank you. Yeah, useful. Thank you. So um, I'd love to get some of your thoughts about what the experience was of, of uh, working with doing uh, using tarot cards for, with coaching. Mm. Uh, how, how was that for you? Like the, what, what was the um, what was it that attracted you to it to start with? <laughs> Well, one was you and your energy, because I have worked with you before. But I think mainly it was having the coaching, what I call like the 3D life bit, but coupled with the intuitive part, the 5D, what I would call, that really lit something up for me. Um, it just felt a beautiful combination and one I've not really come across before. Um, and the idea of using intuition, using you know, higher messages that channel through you um, and through me. Um, I, I just loved it. And and the fact that it's we were both going to be using our intuition, I thought that was really fantastic. Brilliant. Mm. Um, what, so when you kind of saw me uh, advertising this programme, was there, um, did you come with like a, a quite a clear intention about what you wanted to achieve? Where were you at? <laughs> well, I, I I kind of did have a clear intention um, and it was focusing all around my business. Um, but the reason I'm kind of laughing is that when we came to the end of the program, when we did a review, in one way I hadn't got that at all because through the process I realised I'd been in a little dark place and hadn't known it. So this program gave me that, um, what did I say, that insight, um, because when I was in it, I didn't know. Mm. And what's even funnier, because we were just talking before, was that we hadn't worked specifically on the intentions of my business, but we'd worked on me and getting me out of my kind of dark hole which obviously then led to my energy changing because some of the intentions for my business happened just without me having to do anything. Um, without so having first, to do any homework. <laughs> yes, without having to do anything other than be present with you, work with what was coming up for me. Um, and big thing, I think, was allowing my mind to change its mind. You know, I'd viewed a certain part of my life in a certain way and I believe that to be true and fixed and forever and this coaching has really been able to flip that on its head brilliant thank you um what so what was your connection with tarot before and what because <laughs> I know it's different for everybody and you, you that, kind of that was my connection with tarot um I'd trained with Doreen Virtue with her angel cards and you know much softer much more positive and I guess I'd built up this resistance to tarot I was like no um and it was interesting because although I still didn't kind of fully connect heart to heart with them the way that you brought the message through I certainly could hear so they didn't get in my way which I thought they would you know when you know, the death card comes or or the tower card or, you know, those ones that I've got quite a negative connotation with. You were able to put it in a, in a way, not that you were glossing it to be something it wasn't, but you were putting it into much more language that I resonated with every day and talking about breakthroughs and, you know, changes. And that 
made it possible for me to work with the tarot I would say yeah yeah because it's it, I think there are so many um connotations that we have about tarot depending on when you've got into it I suppose you know when you've been yeah. on for quite a long time back back in the day you know it was it was all a cult really wasn't it and now yes it's so yes. popular and it's on in Cosmo and things like that so it's much more trendy and more palatable but um yeah thank you for that that's yeah really yeah um what what do you think was um most valuable out of doing this work together well strangely enough um that there's been many things but I think the the top one was being able to realize what a dark place I'd been in because I didn't know had no idea and it's like you held the the sort of the positive energy the whole time and not to, to never once did I feel um, I was in a wrong place or doing something wrong but you standing in that clear light helped me to see where I was in darkness and I hadn't known that before and that's really quite shocking when you think about it because I, I do similar work to you and to have not had that awareness um, I will be eternally grateful to you because you helped me see that so if I talk about it in another way I felt like I was in the you know a mud pit or a quagmire and I didn't know I was in there there were no possibilities there was no way out but your program because we met weekly it was as if you were help you know there's these muddy slides that I if I did climb I just sort of dropped down to the bottom again but each week we met and you would get me a bit further up the quagmire and there was like a ledge that I could sit on until the next week and then we came up a bit further and so it was very powerful very powerful what was the um like as you had had that awareness of coming out of that darkness or that pit that you described then what was the effect in your external reality what was going did it change but, uh, absolutely and you know I'm, I'm used to in the past let's say synchronicities and positive things happening but it hadn't been happening for a little while and then just small things started to happen and then it's kind of like oh oh I remember this you know it might be a context completely different and then that started to build so where we hadn't work specifically on my business intentions but new clients started coming old clients started coming back um, and and different things have been happening in other aspects of my life where I'm being really helped you know those synchronistic things that happen um, so yeah it's it's changed a lot externally hugely changed my internal and then of course what has happened out there has has really changed and of course that when out there is negative it's it's hard to realize that you can change it mm. and then we started you know doing the work this changed and that changed and um it's just been a joy oh, thank you <laughs> you told me um about your you had a, a bump with with your car and it wrote it off and then that's been a big journey through I mean, who knew that we'd end up doing that with the cards and uh, I've just it's just struck me that when you started you you said that you felt stuck and the car is such a symbol of freedom isn't it and then <laughs> now you've got your new, brand new car it's yeah like and there's been a few synchronicities with that which I, I don't know whether you want me to go into but um yeah I've been I don't know four or five weeks of that car and I tell you it it brings home gratitude to a new level when you don't have that freedom and that um that opportunity to get around as easily um but even then although it's been a, a long time um there's been synchronicities and follow the synchronicity and then that's led to an opportunity and then took that opportunity and it's led now 
to even though I don't have the money for the car that I'm picking the car up on Monday. Fantastic. <laughs> you know, I have to I think I put I have to put a thousand pound deposit down. Who knew that you could get a brand new car for a thousand pounds? Okay, yes, I will have to make payments, but it's enabled me to get the car much sooner than than I'm able to do it. So how abundant you must feel. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah. oh, can I just say while you're kind of one of the other things that I really got because I didn't know I was in that dark place, I this you, this program, whatever, really gave me hope because I could see those like small changes and of course the realization where I had been that would that was huge but definitely hope and clarity were two of the big things that I got Brilliant. from you just holding your light energy listening to me pulling all my strands together then when the cards came being able to reflect something back to me which wasn't my in my negative thinking way, you were able to put a different spin on it. And that sort of jolted me, I think, out of that space. And it's like, oh, there is something else. There is an alternative. Mm. Yeah. Wonderful. Is is there anything else that you'd like to share about the programme, what you got from it? Or I thought it was value? incredible value, really. Um particularly knowing not that I ever did but knowing that I could contact you between sessions and, and have guidance that was immensely reassuring um, and if I had have needed it I, I would have used it but that <clears throat> for me just gave added value to the whole program which you know at the moment is is very good value shall we say <laughs> Yeah. Would you recommend this to others? And if so, why? Oh, absolutely. I, th I, th I think if I'm honest, I would probably offer it more to those people who I know are, <clears throat> let's say, spiritual or energy bunnies or work with manifestation who have that spiritual side. Because I think the coaching with the spiritual bit is missing in the industry. So um, lots of my friends are in that arena. <clears throat> Not that others wouldn't get your work, but I think there's a real thirst for what you're doing amongst people who have, <clears throat> it's hard to label, isn't it? That spiritual side, the energy side, the manifesting side with the everyday world, how we bring that together. Mm -hmm. Um, balancing the masculine and feminine in, in ways absolutely and and I suppose you know when when clients have just rocked up and I've not had to do anything it's reminded me <laughs> although I teach about this too um, about not relying totally on the masculine energy of kind of believing that we have to force and make everything happen you know when we're in that receptive place or just being clear on what we want the universe will and can deliver it to us if if we kind of get out of the way <laughs> brilliant well thank you so much I totally appreciate you taking the time to give share your feedback with me and just uh, to have this little interview as well really appreciate it thank uh, you very much. thank you and thank you for the program it's fantastic mm -hmm. <laughs> bye for now bye